Hello there Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today I'm doing your weekly tarot reading. We'll take a look at the overall energies um, with the oracle cards and go to the tarot for some more details. And this is a general reading for the week of October 11th through the 17th. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. And Capricorn, if you're enjoying this um, message or resonating with it, then I would really appreciate it if you would consider like sharing or subscribing okay message in a bottle this has been coming out a lot lately i mean it is um you know retrograde season something from the past somebody from the past could be reaching out to you and there's going to be a huge decision um yeah they're they're sending you a message and it's kind of like asking you a question <laughs> so let's see if we can figure out what that question is so let's go to the tarot. Um, you know, the message in the, a bottle <laughs> always seems to me like, you know, it's something from the past and we are in the retrograde season, but um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, you know, bad, right? Or, you know, it's just a message. So let's see what we have here. Okay. Yes. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is coming in with an offer. Um, there, it's a true, um, it's a, it's either so this message is either somebody is going to give you some truth or they're going to give you some information. And with this information, you may need to make a decision about how to progress forward. Now, underneath that is happy, happy. I think this decision is going to put you onto a path that makes you more happy. So let's see what your obstacle is. Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to some fears. It could be around a relationship or it could be around a family situation or friend situation. The Four of Pentacles to me is usually a relationship, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a work situation because it is Pentacles, but it's um, a sense of holding on to some fear, kind of concerned about what this message is or how this truth is going to affect you. Um, so it could be, you know, like at work, you could get, you could hear okay uh that there's going to be some layoffs or something like that and then you know you're kind of like fearful how's that going to affect me that type of thing okay now your advice is six of swords move on it's kind of um i do feel like this information is going to help you to go on a path where you actually move on you know the fork in the road is kind of like <laughs> you're sitting there in the middle of your path and there's two ways to go like you get this information and then it's kind of like okay now am I going to continue on this path or am I going to go in a different direction I actually get the sense that when you get this information it's kind of like you stop in your path and it's kind of like I need new options I get the sense that you don't want to continue on the path that you're on, but it's not necessarily like that's even an option. It's kind of like this brings you some type of clarity about how you were feeling about something. On the bottom is the four of wands. This is, um, you know, the happy home card. This can be the uh, twin flame card, the wedding card. It, I really get a sense that this has something to do either with a romantic relationship or a family situation. Like you get this information and it's kind of like, I can't stay on the same path, but what path am I going to choose? Okay, so your outcome is the Knight of Wands. I like it. On the bottom is the Nine of Swords. So I do feel like you're going to have some anxiety this week and we are going to clarify these. But the Nine of Wands, like this information comes in. You, I think, kind of decide that you're going to move on and then quickly take action to do that, whatever that is. You know, like to me, this is like the mental decision to move on and then this is taking action on that decision. So, um, you know, once again, it could be a work situation where you find some out something at work, like you didn't get a promotion that you wanted and you're kind of like, okay, I'm not putting any more time or energy into this, you know, this job and then you put out your resumes or you know um you're holding out hope for somebody to return from the past right and then you find out oh they're getting married right and then you're kind of like okay 
I am definitely moving on. <laughs> I got to find somebody new to start dating. Um, it's that type of energy where it's kind of like, okay, I cannot continue on this path. Okay, so let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is. Yeah, there's something, um, Ace of Wands. Somebody may want a new, a new start with you because you have three Aces in your present energy. There is something that is definitely wanting to be, um, I think something from the past wants to be reborn. Um, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands. Somebody wants to work it out with you, try to perhaps get over some past drama. There could have been some drama, but they are, it's almost kind of like, you know, this information, this card is, you know, the Ace of Swords. It's kind of like, I really get a sense that this information puts you in this situation. This is the, the double-edged sword, if you will. Like your decision is going to change both, like I think your life and the person that is giving you this information. So for instance, say it is somebody coming back from the past and wanting to, you know, reunite with you. Your answer is either yes or no, right? I mean, it's just kind of like, you're kind of, I, I feel like you're, you're almost clear cut about it, um, about how you need to proceed. It's almost like it's a moment of clarity for you. And um, it's um, I, I, I honestly get the sense that it's like, yeah, whatever it is, it's cut and dry and then you move on. So let's see what this Four of Pentacles is. We have the Emperor, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Cups, Six of Wands. Once again, I think you're holding on to some fear, perhaps some hope. Um, it's kind of like, oh, they just said you're on the fence about something. You're on the fence. Really interesting. You're kind of like on the fence about this relationship. Like perhaps you're on the fence because I see two scenarios. You're either on the fence about whether you want this person back or not. And then you're also on the fence because you know, we have the Emperor and the King of Cups here. The Emperor is very different than the King of Cups. The Emperor is a sense of, like, controlling, okay? Um, you know, uh, n not extremely nurturing. He's, a, to me, he's not, a, and I'm just saying he because it's an Emperor. Gender doesn't matter, but, you know, not a very, um, it's kind of controlling. And then you have the King of Cups, who is, you know, somebody that is very emotional, but can also contain their emotions and express their emotions in a healthy way. And then in between, we have the Ace of Pentacles. It's almost as if you are hoping or you are on the fence about who to take an offer from. Wow, Capricorn. <laughs> really interesting. You could be um, getting ready to an ex to a accept an offer from one of these, right? And then all of a sudden you hear from somebody from the past. I really do get this sense that it's kind of like stops you in your tracks. I get the, uh, the feeling that it's something that stops you in your tracks. And you know that whichever path, I mean, this is always true, but it's kind of like, it's a clear cut. Like you can't be on the fence anymore. I get the sense that you can't be on the fence anymore. You have to choose. You have to choose which direction you want to go in. You know, you have to choose somebody that is really business savvy, um, perhaps wealthy, you know, or, you know, this is somebody that's a little bit more, um, you know, creative, more emotional, you know, it, it, the emperor can hold their emotions, you know, they can uh, have a poker face, <laughs> right? And the King of Cups can express it. And it's like, uh, I feel like you have an offer, but then it's almost like you get an offer for from somebody else. Or it could be that you get an offer from one of these, but you're holding out hope for an offer from somebody else. Um, really interesting. Capricorn, there's definitely more than <laughs> one, um, one person that you're kind of like dealing with here. Okay, so let's see what the Six of Swords is. Oh, 
Nine of Cups are on the bottom. Okay, so I, once again, we have the Six of Cups. I think somebody from the past comes back. You know, they want to make progress with you. You may be feeling like, hey, I've made progress getting over them. You know, going in a new direction. Um, Six of Swords is moving on. A sense of wanting to move on from something from the past. You might be thinking you want to move on to something else. Like one of these could be the person from the past. And you're kind of like, but what I really want is the other one. Like maybe the person from the past was, you know, extremely emotional and you were kind of like, no, I want somebody that's financially secure or <laughs> vice versa. And it's kind of like this energy of deciding, you know, what, which, what is it that you want? For some of you, I think you're going in a new direction with the fool card. Like this message comes in. You could be um, with one of these, right? And then... Uh, uh, you get this message and you're kind of like going in a new direction. Okay, let's see what this Knight of Wands is. Four of Wands on the bottom. Wanting that strong foundation. That is the wedding card, twin flame card. You're doing a lot of heal, healing um, over the anxiety that, you know, a Knight of Cups. Uh, somebody is coming in and expressing their love. And, you know, there is this uh, sense of action, taking action. You're taking action on, you know, you've healed from the anxiety of some past situation. And you're taking action. Like somebody's coming in and offering their love and you're taking action on it. You're like, yeah, making that decision and then kind of going for it. Um, I am going to just clarify this Umfer Energy and then we'll clarify the King of Cups. So, can we please clarify the Emperor? Let's see what we have here. The World card. And the King of Cups. The Four of Wands. Yeah. A magician on the bottom. Either you are manifesting this or somebody else's. Um, okay, with the Emperor, you have the World card. This is like an ending you know, um, ending out a cycle with whoever the emperor is. Um, and then with the king of cups, we have the four of wands, you know, celebrating, celebrating this, this love, this emotional attachment. You know, I, I'm getting the sense that that's exactly what it is. You, you have, you have somebody here that you don't have a true emotional attachment to. And then you have somebody that you do. And I get, you know, it It kind of is playing out that this is the person that comes back and offers their love. And you're kind of like, okay. Well, I, I it seems like you're saying, okay, let's go. Because th this is not, you're ready to close this out. You may not know how. But you're ready to close it out. You may have been waiting. Because you have the only one that you're missing. I mean, the only ace that you're missing is the ace of cups. Really interesting that you're missing the ace of cups. Because the ace of cups then is the most important. The one that's missing. You have all the other aces. So the one that's missing is the most important. Or that's what we say in tarot readings. So the Ace of Cups is missing, and I feel like this person is coming in. Now, the Ace of Cups would mean a new love in a way, but I think somebody from the past is coming in. And, you know, with the Knight of Cups, this is a true expression of love. Like, <laughs> really putting out their heart. For you okay so let's go um you have an interesting week ahead capricorn <laughs> okay so let's go to um see what we have as a final message for you creator water okay and it's so interesting because you have the water sign here um and it doesn't have to be a water sign it could be cancer pisces or scorpio but it doesn't have to be i mean i really feel like this is almost like you have to take it who the players are in this storyline right 
Um, but I really get a sense that you really are kind of choosing love over what I want to say is money, right? I think you're choosing love over money. Really interesting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really enjoyed doing it for you. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, or subscribe. But I wish you much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.